Hello and welcome to another episode of Thoughtful Leaders by CollegeDunya.com. Today we have with us Dr. Santosh Kumar Patra, who is the principal at Saint Martin's Engineering College, Hyderabad. Hello and welcome to the show, sir. Yeah, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Saxi. Uh, sure, sir. So, sir, I would want you to introduce yourself to our audience first. Yeah. So, good morning and namaste, everyone. So, I am Dr. P. Santosh Kumar Patro. Presently, I am working as a principal at St. Martin Engineering College. And I am having around 18 years of teaching experience. And uh, during this tenure of this teaching, uh, I have been felicitated as uh, best teacher for continuously seven years. And uh, there are 88 research papers which I have been published in different international and national publication houses. And I am in the editorial board member of Tata Micro Health. And uh, there are 28 patents which I have filed. And there are 18 books what I have written for all the engineering students. So, and I am continuing my journey as an academic administrator. And uh, this is my fourth year running with St. Martin Engineering College. And uh, we are trying and striving for the excellence all the time with a motto of excellence education for everyone. Thank you very much, Saxi, for uh, taking my introduction and introducing to all the audience. Thank you so much, sir. It was a wonderful introduction. So, sir, as you have mentioned uh, that you have been at education institutions before throughout your professional career. So, what are the key factors that keeps you connected to this education sector, sir? Yeah. So, looking into the any profession, it is not like education. Any profession where we have decided to uh, continue our journey throughout our lifetime, there could be two reasons what I strongly believe. One could be chance, another could be choice. So I am in this profession by my choice. And in addition to that, I would like to remember the quote which are all quoted by <coughs> Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam sir. And uh, sir had told that one, education is the only tool which has got the power to uh, change the nation and change the world. So I strongly felt that yes, this is a very good weapon which can be used to bring and uplift the standard of people and the society. So this is one of the points what I decided to be in this profession. And second one is, I strongly felt every responsible citizen has the responsibility of giving back something to the society. And this is one of the noble profession where whatever we have learned, there is an opportunity for us to give it back to the society. And we have an excellent opportunity to nurture and improve the skill set of all the students who are all backbone of this country. And uh, why I am motivated at all, there are many reasons and uh, like just to narrate few. Uh, so when I started my journey as a lecturer and because of uh, the teaching learning processes what I followed and adopted and uh, uh, whatever the best practices I have inculcated among the students and all because of that uh, I received many awards uh, to name few uh, governor award three times from Telangana Gover governor I have received two times I got it from uh, Sri ESL Narasimhan sir when he was the governor and uh, last time I received from Dr. Tamil Sai Sondar Rajan madam who is the present governor of Telangana and I got an opportunity in with them by being in this profession, I got an opportunity to meet with Dr. Abdul Kalam sir and I have met and spent some time with him and uh, the Drona Charya award I have received, uh, Rashtriya Ratan award I have received, the Rashtriya Gaurav award I have received and the Young Leader of the Year award I have received and lastly I received an award from Best principal as an American college which is located at Dubai that was an international award I had received. So these are all awards uh, motivated me and I felt that I am justifying to my responsibility that is why uh, all these credentials had come and uh, I decided to contribute more. And in this way I started writing the books as an outcome today 18 books were, which are all listed uh, exactly behind me. So these are all books I have written for the student community for their betterment. And now AICT has made a rule that all the students uh, should prefer to study all the Indian national author books. So this is an opportunity for all the student community 
to just go through our books and understand more the concept in a very detailed manner. Then, as I had mentioned in my introduction session itself, 28 patents I have published. And now there are 12 patents which has been chosen by the industry and it is in the process of prototype development and uh, down the line we will see all these patents are coming in the form of product which all will, we are going to use. So these are all things which uh, keep on motivating me to work for this uh, educational institute and uh, to see to it how I can bring a more bright student and produce it for the country. That is great to know, sir. Uh, you know, like uh, with have, having such a vast uh, background experience and, you know, contributing back to the society is something that is really great. So moving ahead, sir, being the principal at St. Martin's Engineering College, what is your philosophy of leadership? How do you describe your leadership style? See, in one line, if I will tell about the leadership, leadership, I strongly believe, taking the team forward. And it requires a lot of patience, perseverance, willing to listen to every individual and see what I can make a difference in their life or in their decision. And I always uh, see to it that every individual is having the capability of leadership they were born with the leadership, only the thing is missing, we need to sharpen their skill and we need to show them the right path in which direction they can be groomed and they could, they could be made as a great leader. So my leadership style is always to bring out the best among the people and see to it that they all are either winner now or at least they should be the future winner. So finally, I conclude with the leadership is like if everybody wins, that is what my leadership philosophy. That is really great, sir. So, uh, sir, the education systems in India and foreign countries are structured very differently. <clears throat> as you also have an award, you know, as an international award, you would be more aware about that. And uh, I would want you to share, like, you know, in your experience, what can an inbound student gain from studying here at your institute? Yeah, very true and you have asked a very right question, Saksi. I really appreciate your homework and how you got this question. But let me tell to you, okay, so even though there are many universities and even though there are many different types of teaching learning, learning processes have been followed across the globe, because I used to visit and I have traveled almost all the major countries, just you now we can name it out. So, I used to visit those universities also and I am very closely connected with many foreign universities about their teaching learning processes, academic practices and the outcome. But I am very happy and proud to say at this moment that still everybody believes and it has been proved that Indian education systems are one of the best systems. And till today, even though we have moved to a digital era, but till today people have the strong belief and faith and a better understanding if we will go with a uh, blackboard or a green board presentation. So that is what it is. But in addition to that, whatever the international requirement is there in the perspective of higher education, in the perspective of employment, or in the perspective of any starting of any company in those countries and all, we have analyzed because St. Martin Engineering College has in a signed an MOU with 17 different foreign universities. To name few, we have signed an MOU with University of East London, Aston University and University of Debris, like that the list continues. And we closely work with them and we try to understand what are all best practices are followed at international level. And as St. Martin Engineering College is an autonomous institute, I have got the liberty of design my own regulation and design my own curriculum and syllabus. So when I start sitting on this, those meetings and all, I see to it whatever the points I have noted and I have identified as an I have identified as in a uh, gap which is not available in our curriculum. I try to inculcate all these changes and uh, try to see that one all this international standard of good practices have been provided to my student in the form of uh, international guest speaker, in the form of value addition courses, in the form of internship. And uh, presently we are working out with a concept of certification program for each and every student. 
and in this junction i would like to mention to you during the lockdown period we have signed an mou with the coursera and in the coursera there are many foreign universities are part of it and i insisted each and every student should enroll and go for an international certification so we are very happy that more than more than 16000 students have uh, no taken those certification courses and uh, all have been qualified and now they all are possessing the international certificate so that is why we try our level best to get an a best international exposure to each and every student and uh, recently we have a great achievement on international collaboration through there is an university which is located at usa named as george mason university we have a mou with that too and uh, one of our startup project which we had presented to them they were very much impressed and they were agreed and joined hands with us to bring it in the form of a product and uh, they have initially just few months before they have initially funded us around 4000 us dollar to start this prototype model now in my r&d lab that product is in practice and it was put forth for their no further developments and all so this is what i try my level best to bring all the international best practices and bridge the gap and provide to the student the excellent education who which will make them globally ready and to face any kind of challenges in any domain thank you that is really great to know sir you know getting such an international experience and exposure for the students itself is you know a great boost in their morale and confidence as well so uh, moving ahead sir how does the curriculum of st martin's engineering college ensure that it is the best practice of industry yeah so this is also you know the question which is in line with the previous question i will say as i mentioned in my previous point also st martin engineering college was given autonomous for 10 <laughs> years by uh, ugc and uh, in this during in this period we have the flexibility of designing our own curriculum so let's say whatever the engineering courses i am offering i have the freedom of designing my own curriculum and for each program i have a bos committee board of study committees and the board of study committees uh, they identify whatever all uh, requirements are uh, no what are all requirements need to be provided to the student to bridge the curriculum and we should make them industry ready so that whenever they complete their education system they need not have to undergo for any kind of skill development or any value added certification courses by paying huge money and also wasting their six months or one year of time so that we keep it into mind and we inculcate all these requirements into their curriculum in the form of value added courses in the form of certification courses in the form of internship in the form of industrial visit in the form of uh, uh, guest lectures all this we inculcate and uh, we see to it that all this bridges all these gaps have been bridged properly to provide them the 360 degree of education system that is really uh, great sir you know uh, providing a 360 degree overview about the entire education system so uh, moving ahead sir what do you think would be the institute's top priority for the next 5 years yeah <laughs> it's a uh, very you know good questions and it is like uh, uh, yeah the, the uh, top priority always we believe and we try to do it and it is a continuous process for us that maintaining the good faculty all the time and maintaining and retaining the good faculty all the time and whatever the best practices already are in put place that upliftment of those best practices uh, is you know very interesting task and we break our head with a lot of brainstorming sessions to maintain and uplift the quality whatever the parameters it is all possible uh, so and another thing is related to the placement as san martin is known for the best placement this is our uniqueness in the society any student those who have taken the admission their first expectation is the college should be good they provide them a good placement and we have justified to their expectation of the parent so our top priority is also to maintain that and how we can improve day by day by bringing a more placement with greater uh, no placement packages 
that is really great sir i really agree with you on the placement part as well it is really important for any yeah. institution as well so moving ahead sir how the st martins engineering college ensure that it stands out out of the rest of the engineering <coughs> colleges in and around hyderabad yeah we are not in any race so that the competition question comes but how are it is proved in the market by our stakeholder that we are the best and uh, why we are the best there are no we have to look into the portfolio of the institute and also we need to look into the success story of the institution and uh, we need to look into the practices what are all happening in st martin engineering college to merit few so in 2019 when we went for the nac accreditation system uh, so we were awarded with nac a plus grade and those days only 27 colleges in india 27 colleges in india were given with nac a plus grade and st martin is one among them so that is one all of my engineering programs are mba accredited with a very good mark and uh, in addition to that i will say that uh, st martin engineering uh, college is the only college who is presently today we are holding 444 crores of consultancy project from greater hyderabad municipality corporation which is a government of india initiative and also we are holding a consultancy project which is none other colleges are holding only it is available with st martin engineering college of amount worth of 150 crore that is hyderabad metropolitan hyderabad metropolitan uh, water supply and the sewage board that is also a government of telangana initiative that we are holding the third party uh, quality control team and in addition to that we are uh, dsir certified organization nirf rank atal rank and iso certified 100 percent placement and uh, looking ahead uh, every year our track record is more than uh, 60 to 70 patents we are filing and uh, 70 books we have been published and more than 7500 research papers have been published by the faculty member and uh, a lot of revenues have been generated in the form of uh, developing the products and in the form of uh, consultancy services and all and in addition to that uh, 138 products have been developed and which was uh, put in practice and uh, there are always i believe it is not like we have to do excel in only teaching learning and uh, only in academics and only in research uh, i wanted to inculcate a practice uh, to uh, inform to all of my student they need to be inclined towards the society and to understand the value of human beings so nearby one village is there i had gone to that village and i have spoken to the sarpanch of the village and officially we have adopted that village so whatever the charitable work it is possible uh, by me within this permissible limit regularly i send my student faculty and i personally visit also and we do it like uh, drop campaigns free drop campaigns then cleaning their villages then uh, giving free education to the schools Uh, providing free computers and free computer literacy program to the villagers, then educating them the modern agriculture system and giving them the medicines, cloths, food items, whatever critical requirements will be there. So, what is what is the outcome of this exercise? Means there is a human touch nowadays. It is all missing in this digital world. So, I am trying to incline my student to go meet with the people. try to listen to them try to understand their problem and see that any small difference we, you can make it in their life that itself will be a great blessings so that is what again uh, going back to my first line answer we are not in any race uh, but we are the best that is really great to know sir you know uh, the way st martins is uh, contributing back to the society is really something that i believe you know stands out uh, amongst the rest Uh, sir, is there any message that you would want to share with the aspirants of, of uh, Saint Martin's Engineering College and the current youth of India, sir? Yeah, definitely, because I am closely connected, and most of my time goes along with the youth and the students. Uh, what is I am noticing, Saxi, nowadays this present generation they are very good, they are very enthusiastic, they are they are very hardworking, focused. but only one thing which is lagging that one no uh, there are little bit corrections we need to do in their moral and in their conducts 
So that is what the perseverance is required and uh, they need to have patience to understand all the points in a positive way. So that is missing. And in addition to that, my suggestion and uh, you know, like so request to all the parents, please spend time with your children. Because most of the parents, whatever, based on my observation, they feel that once they put their children on engineering education, so then their responsibility ends there. But it's not like that. Okay, the real responsibility starts from there. So I, we request, we plead every one of you, all the parents who are all you know, seeing today. So you know, please join hands with us to nurture your own children. Still they are your children only. So we need to correct them. We need to see that. You know, we need to spend time with them. How busy we are, we need to spend time with them. And also I request all the students, don't be fascinated by seeing the movies and cinemas and all. So let us you know, come to the real world and let us learn the learn our Indian culture, let us learn our philosophy, let us understand the value of our parents, relatives, elders and let us give respect to all the human beings. That is the message I would like to pass to all the youths. That is a wonderful message, sir. Thank you so much for this uh, amazing session that we had here at uh, Thoughtful Readers by CollegeDunya.com. Uh, I rest my questions here and uh, th I would really thank you from uh, the whole team of collegedunya.com to take out your time today and uh, you know bless us with your presence today here sir and uh, I'm really sure that our audience has got a lot of insights about St. Martin's Engineering College and uh, this whole interview has been really fruitful and beneficial for them as well. So, thank you so much for your presence, sir, today. Thank you, Saksi, and I would like to uh, take this opportunity to thank the entire College Dunia team people because it was not easy for you also to come all the way and spend time with us and uh, showing a keen interest on me as well as on St. Martin Engineering College.